making a grading key for a math assessment and I thought, oh, these two problems would be perfect to do a video for because I have a lot of people asking questions about how we're teaching math these days and mostly with the motivation um, of wanting to help your kids be successful. So I thought that this um, addition and subtraction problem would be a really great example for me to kind of explain how we're um, teaching math. So basically, we're trying to strengthen um, kids' understanding of how to work with a 10. So prior to doing a problem like this, we spent a good deal of time on um, working with make 10 facts. So what I'm going to start by doing is separating the 74 into 70 and 4. That's called a number bond, by the way. And then I'm also going to make a number bond for the 9. And since we've been working with that 10, I'm thinking to myself, okay, what do I need to add to 4 to make 10? And I already know that that's a 6. So in order to complete the number bond for 9, I know that 6 plus 3 equals 9. So now I can rewrite to a more simple equation, which is 70 plus 10 plus 3. And kids can be really successful with this because we've been practicing um, counting by 10s and they can say 70 plus 10 equals 80 plus 3 more equals 83. Now I'm going to move on to the subtraction one. And again, just think about understanding how to work with 10. And we've been working on all of the different ways to build to 10 as well as um, to decompose from 10 or to um, take away from a 10. So since I know that three ones are not enough ones to take seven away, I know that I need to take that seven away from a 10. And how we show that is by starting with a number bond and I'm gonna take out 10 from 53. And if I have 53 and I count back 10, I know that I have 43. So now, even though I only had three ones to start with, the way that I've rewritten this, it looks kinda of like I have 10 ones now, which is enough to take seven away. So I'm gonna start with 10 minus seven, which all my second graders are really strong at. 10 minus seven equals three. And then I have these three left over. I'm going to take those three left over and add them to the 43 that I never touched. And we also know our simple doubles like 3 plus 3, which equals 6. And then 4 tens plus 0 tens equals 4. So that way I know that 53 minus 7 equals 46. I really hope that that helps you understand how we're teaching um, math in second grade these days, as well as um, more importantly than anything that you um, have a better understanding of how you can support your kiddo. Thanks for watching this video.